for the for the boil and for the ear. Now we're going to have a look at garlic, which is a relative of the onion. And this garlic is one of the most potent, well it's the most potent antibiotic. In fact the research shows, shows that it's six times more potent than tetracycline. To take it as an antibiotic you would need to take three to four raw cloves a day. Now not, not everyone can handle that. And some people can't handle the raw garlic very well because uh, it's very high in sulfur. So if someone has a stomach ulcer it could um, burn it a little bit. But if you have a bowl of hot soup and crush the garlic straight into the hot soup minutes before you eat it, that will take the edge off. And because it's been eaten with the soup that's got veggies and maybe some lentils in it, the stomach can often handle that a little bit better. But it's very potent. Now, I always look for this when I buy garlic. See the purple? And I always look for Australian. A lot of garlic, most garlic that's coming from China has been irradiated. So look for your tiny little cloves. The tiny cloves are usually very, very potent. So we're going to pretend that uh, Jeremy's only two. He's a lot bigger than two, as you can see. But we're going to pretend that he's two. And two-year-olds don't usually like much raw garlic. And I'm going to do to, to Jeremy what I've done to many babies. You can do it even to a newborn baby that's got a congested head or chest, cold. You can slice up the garlic and wrap it on the bottom of their feet. So you'll need a little cloth like this. If you put the garlic straight onto the bottom of the feet, it will blister. So you need to have a little cloth there between the garlic and the bottom of the feet. And what I do is I finely slice it. Now this is a, this remedy, when I first came across it, I said it was a remedy for whooping cough. So any type of chest problem. So you've got the cloth there and you lay the slices of garlic like that. three, maybe if it's a little baby you'd only put two there and then you put the cloth over it like that so you've got cloth between the garlic and the child's foot. I have done it many times and it will never blister if you do it like that. So we're going to put it on Jeremy's foot. It's coming out a bit so we'll push it in. Just wrap it around like that and then put the sock on. So that's it, that's very easy isn't it? And if it's a little baby then you put, <coughs> put a booty over it and that will hold it in place. You do it with both feet? Yes you do, mm. both feet. Now it takes one minute for one drop of blood to go around the whole body. So within and Jeremy might mind if you come and smell his breath. Sorry, I'm just joking. But you will find that within a couple of minutes, Jeremy's breath will smell of garlic. Now, what will that garlic on the bottom of the feet do? The, the feet are a reflex for the head, the chest, and the abdomen. So, if Jeremy had a chest cold, that time. Uh, the blood would take the garlic to the chest. Psalm 104 verse 14, the Bible says, God gave herbs for the service of man. Medicine calls it synergism. So the herbs work with the needs of the body. So the body knows what to do. It says, oh good, we've got some garlic. We need it right here. Or we need it right here or right here. <laughs> and so that's an easy way to get garlic into, into a child. So you can do it overnight. I know my son James often used to have a chesty cold and I would wrap it on his feet and he'd run outside to play. You know, every step he's taking is a little bit more garlic going in. Now, if I were to crush that garlic, the juice would come out too fast, even with the cloth there and could harm the bottom of the feet. But the beauty of the slices is that just little by little by little it gets taken into the body. At the end of the day, I would take James shoes and socks off and I would take his garlic poultice off 
and the garlic was like bits of dried out yellow leather. There wasn't any juice left in it, the body had, had taken it away. So that's an easy way to give garlic to a baby, or a toddler.